vampire rock band, werewolf drama, and did Tara survive getting her head half blown off? I'm Alex, and if you haven't seen the True Blood Season 5 premiere, this is your official spoiler alert. So last summer's Season 4 finale was a pretty messy one in terms of blood and guts and brains being spewed everywhere, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that there was a lot of house cleaning going on in the Season 5 premiere. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but I will say that I would love to have Super Speed Vampire Eric clean my house any day of the week, preferably with less clothing. I'll also say that I thought it was pretty refreshing to see Season 5 kick off with some serious Eric Bill bromance for once. I don't know if it was the whole fuck sucky solidarity or just the fear of true death, but look at them working together, blowing up cars, leaving their past behind, Bill serving as Eric's lookout while he has sex with his vampire sister. Speaking of bromances, it looks like Jason Stackhouse has a new admirer. Reverend Steve is back, and he's a vampire, and apparently he's in love with Jason. Not that you can blame him, especially when Jason answers the door naked all the time and is dumb enough to get glamoured even when he was prepared for it. And of course, just when all the Terra haters thought she had to finally be gone for good, leave it to Suki to think of a way to get her back. If there's one thing worse than a whiny Terra, it's a whiny vampire Terra. Speaking of f***ing Suki, she may not have been excited about her unexpected gentleman caller, Alcide, but I sure was. Unfortunately, he wasn't stopping by for that Suki Alcide sexy time that I've been waiting very impatiently for. Instead, Russell Edgington is back and he wants Suki to stay with him. Hmm, Alcide's house? Creepy, bloody house that has brains and teeth remnants in the kitchen. Alcide's house? Come on! And while I don't think Alcide deserved it, I do appreciate a good Lafayette hissy. <laughs> anyway, those are my episode highlights, but there's a lot I didn't get to cover. Will Sam be able to keep Luna safe? Will Hoyt and Jason ever get their bromance back? Sound off in the comments with your own thoughts on the episode, and I'll see you next week for episode two. Three words, Vampire Elliot Stabler. Peace.